Hey everybody, it's Jay Ball with Blue Jays Outdoors, and man, I've got a, a really cool episode that I, that I can't wait for you guys to check out. So, trying to just do something a little bit different. Um, I want to really break down and show you guys what I do, why I fish where I fish, and and you guys are gonna learn with me because again, I'm not an expert when it comes to bass fishing. But in in this episode today, I'm gonna break down um, how we got on a decent swim bite or a swim bait bite this morning. Uh, fish from that father law my brother-in-law and the chips were kind of stacked against us in the beginning um the trolling motor on my father-in-law's boat wasn't charged the battery's bad so we had no trolling motor all day and the wind was blowing so we ended up setting up on a point that turned out to be really good so what i'm going to do first is break down my swim jig setup and then i'm going to do a cutaway show you guys some pictures the videos of the fish that we caught and then i want to show you on my navionics app where we we're fishing and why we we're doing it and then we'll wrap it up at the end so again just want to try to make this stuff interesting and and give you guys as much information as i can so swim jig bite was pretty good today my favorite swim jig by far is the six cents divine swim jig in this bluegill pattern and i really like pairing it this time of the year with this menace the rage tail menace the white i think this is the four inch version and i always rig it straight up so that the tails actually kick side to side. So they're actually kicking like this. And I think it gives it a little bit more vibration um, when I'm throwing it and they were crushing it today. I mean, not only the bass, but the Northern was, were as well. I always coat these things in lower lipstick. So I take the chapstick and I smash it here in the, in the weed guard all over the body, run up the line. And I, I, I definitely think this is making a difference for me as well. The line that I'm using is 12 pound cigar fluorocarbon. Been a big fan of cigar fluorocarbon for a long time, especially with the water being a little bit clear in this lake. Um, it was just the ticket. I had probably caught nothing huge. I mean, a couple of one and a half, maybe two pounds, two and a half probably was the biggest one that we caught post spawn males. Um, and we caught a bunch of little northerns, little hammerhead northerns. So let me show you guys a couple videos of the fish that we caught, and then I'll break down the Navionics view of, of what the lake looks like, why we're fishing there, and they'll wrap it up. So check out these videos of these pictures or videos of these fish we caught today. Doubled up. Might go in on a worm. That's a nice one. I got one on a six cent swim jig. Another swim jig fish. Choking that six cent swim jig now. Another one on the six cent swim jig. Not chewing, but getting a few. Okay, let's see how well this is gonna work recording the screen of my Navionics app. So this is a, a zoomed in view of the lake that we were fishing. And the wind was blowing out of the east, so it was coming from the right, blowing across to the left. And this is a, a point right here. This is like a five to seven foot point. And the wind just so happened to be blowing us across this point. And there's tall standing weeds, probably about three, four foot off the bottom maybe. And they're just above the surface. Some of them are just below the surface. But we, we were just, again, we had no trolling motor. So we're riding the center here and we're riding this edge. And it seemed like most of the active fish were either on this inside edge here or this inside edge here. And what these both areas have in common is their inside turns. So the wind's blowing the bait, you know, down along this edge and the fish are setting up on this ambush point here and ambush point here. And we've only been in this like three times, but twice now that we've been here, these fish have been stacked up on this point. So just something for you guys to, to look at and keep in mind if you're fishing a new body of water, um, you know, some things to look for. So you've got these two inside turns and then you've got a flat up here that's a that's a point, it's a main lake point, and the wind's blowing across it for the last two days. So I think that's why the, those fish were stacked in there. Again, no monsters, but you know, we probably caught close to 20 so bass and, and probably about a half a dozen northern. So hopefully this works. You guys can see this and kind of put this in, in your bank for when you're looking at these new lakes as as to where to fish and you know how you can kind of locate some fish. Another one on the six cent swim jig. They're not big, but they're chewing on it. Fish, but they're all about the same size. These, I think, post spawn males. But six cent swim jig is doing damage on them again. I just switched to Wapple Plopper and about the second cast had this one hit it. 
getting that giant, but now they want top water, it looks like. So I, I really hope that showing you guys that Navionics view of, of those two inside turns meeting on that point and then that flat kind of running off that point, maybe you have those in your lakes, maybe you can look at those. Again, the one was probably blowing about 10 miles an hour today, so it was a little bit of chop. And I was throwing a KVD crankbait, got a few on that. I was throwing a worm, but they were really keying in again on this six cents uh, swim jig, this divine swim jig. And you can see this thing's pretty tore up too. It got hit by a bunch of Northerns. I mean, there's teeth marks on the front of it. I mean, they, they were just destroying this thing. So um, uh, again, a big fan of the bluegill pattern with the white menace trailer on it. I, I like the bluegill color, but I think the white gives them something to key in on, gives them a, a kill spot so they can hit it. A lot of times these fish were hitting as soon as it hit the water. Again, I, I paired it with the lure lipstick. Um, th this is the chapstick formula, the original formula. And again, I just smear it here in the brush guard all over the body up and down the line. And I can tell you my brother-in-law and father-in-law, once they saw me catch about 10 fish, they started using it and they started picking up a few too. So not this saying it's going to work every day, but there's just some days where those fish are keying in on and it's going to help them, you know, track that thing through the water. So um, all in all, it was a pretty, pretty good day. Again, the odds were stacked against us. I was not even planning on going fishing in the lake. I had all my bank fishing stuff, so I was able to put together a plan and it worked out pretty well. So really appreciate you guys watching this video. Again, my name is Jay Ball, Blue Jays Outdoors. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button so you guys see when I post these videos. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is blue underscore J underscore maple underscore syrup. And then on, on Facebook, I'm under uh, Blue Jays Outdoor. So really appreciate you guys again. And remember, showing gratitude is the best way to change your attitude. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.